Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Hell. This is about solid start to high class CD players. This is uh, quite exciting, you know, I, I remember listening to these players here I'm about to show you um, the first time and um, they were truly uh, astounding compared to the usual standard that was on the market and I still think to, to this day that they are very impressive. Um, let's take a look at it and it's basically a um, a high class display of CD players where I'm going to start off with the uh, lower bottom of that high class and then move on to what I consider is the best so let's get into it um, we've got Macintosh here and um, Macintosh I'm generally not a fan of of the CD sound. They they do generally make a really good CD sound compared to most brands. So, but I feel that when I got to her to hear this model here, you know the um, the eleven hundred. Um, that's where I felt that Macintosh really started cementing their their CD sound. And as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's like the highest model still to this date I'm not sure how exactly how it works because there are some new models with some lower numbers and I, I don't really get that because it's basically the same specs but um, <clears throat> I, I would still think that this is the best uh, CD player I could be wrong but th this is the CD player where I felt that Macintosh came the closest to really nailing it and I feel that if, if you're going for this, you know, I think you should you, you should do it properly and then get get that done on, on, on a proper Macintosh system, like an integrated MA 8000 or 9000, or maybe even go back to the older MA 7000. I feel that that's the proper way to, to hear what the CD player has to offer. And also that somehow the CD sound isn't quite as good as the DAC built into it. So just know that that your streamer that feeds the DAC in this thing actually can 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 sound quite a bit different and, and on a much higher level than the than the actual CD player. So realize that. But you know, when this got released, I think it was like fifteen thousand uh, U.S. dollars. You know, uh, that that that's crazy. And nowadays, I think it's more like half of that. I'm not sure if you can at all get it. Um, but I've also I've heard this player in systems where it just didn't match properly. And again, where, where the streamer held back the performance, so you kind of have to watch out for that because I've heard this good CD player on a good speaker with some pretty decent uh, past labs monoblocks and and yeah it was one of the better um, past labs uh, preamps so all in all separately those parts were really good but weirdly enough it just sounded horrible so even though macintosh is, is a pretty versatile brand to use with other brands i generally feel that it's, it's kind of a stock macintosh sound that, that you kind of need to go with the macintosh system to really get that that original sound um and just generally you know structure wise i think that macintosh aren't nearly as good as many of, of the competition in the same price category when we th when we think about just purely about structure you know 3d separation um layering stuff like that black level um when we're talking about cd players they're just not quite into that that high high level but you have to know this about macintosh that as soon as you connect a, a good macintosh cd player with like a a proper pairing you know like a macintosh integrated ma 8000 or 9000 i feel that that's like the best macintosh sound almost ever 
and 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 yeah you know there's probably like a new line of top macintosh um models like like the new hybrid models i think it's like ma i can't remember what it's called 901 monoblocks or whatever um i think it's probably also going to sound like even better on that so i think you have to be uh, aware of that that um if you get this i strongly recommend that you get it either with this or with this or some of the best um other macintosh gear that exists i do not feel that it does it any justice putting this on like the old mc1201 monoblocks or regular macintosh monoblocks um i don't feel that it it's it's good enough in in sound at least for me but it can sound still pretty pretty damn good um I just liked how when I listened to it the first time, it was just very nice, crisp, thick, vulgar, uh, pretty good timing. Bass was a lot better than the previous MCD 500 model, you know, um, and that was really popular. So um, overall, I'm really, I was really satisfied with the sound and I wish that I could have owned it. I just felt that, you know, fifteen thousand dollars for this in, in the start I, I just feel that that's just so ridiculous i really didn't get how how that was possible um to this day i would still like to own this cd player but um you know um i feel that it's only worth like two thousand dollars if i'm if i'm quite honest um that that's how i feel you know and um i just don't feel that it's worth fifteen thousand uh, dollars i could probably get this like on the used market for if i'm lucky five thousand dollars but still you know considering what what there's out there i wouldn't feel that that's really worth it unless i have a lot of money and i have a really good macintosh system that's set properly up you know like a ma eight thousand or nine thousand but yeah that, that's just how i feel I, I, it's, it's funny because it can sound so good when you do it so right you know it's just like with, with the other cd players i'm about to show you guys i just feel that at, at you have when you own this you have to have it on, on, on a proper pairing and uh, the few places where I heard it, it somehow sounded so regular, like a normal CD player, because it just didn't fit in. But really good CD player, really, really good. And then even better, you know, Negra 2007 CDP model. This is all about fantastic Swiss precision structure and, and really like, clinical perfect perfectionistic yeah it is a bit boring gray and lacking meat and, and life and organic style but you know on this level you know you you really to you're really willing to sacrifice that you know and this is all about movement timing sense of uh, space detail micro detail even more micro detail even more micro detail i remember listening to this at my friend's place for the first time i think around 2009 2010 I was amazed at, at the the holographic imaging that went past the wall. Um, I heard this with VPA, Negra VPA um, monoblocks, and then we had a Negra PLP preamp. Then we had a Verity uh, Lenore speaker, and my God that combination was just to die for i could still to this day listen to that for many many years and that was that was still just with mit uh, ma magnum speaker cable something like that it sounded awesome it sounded awesome and yeah it had it had its few flaws it was a bit digital um not 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 being quite as 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 real as as audio note of course but I mean, at this level, you almost don't care. You know, there's just so much detail. It just keeps you entertained. So you're not really looking into those negative sides, you know. But, you know, 
when you're looking at lower systems that are clinical, of course, you know, th then it really detracts from the whole performance. So you end up focusing too much on that. But ah, oh, the timing, you know, the position. Wow, I would really like to have this. I would really like to own this. Um, try and listen to that album, Pepe Romero Flamingo album, and then just put this on on this player just ridiculous type of sound and this is the old negra sound you know this is the old more clinical negra sound you know um but by god yeah it was really good really good and of course like the newer cd players from negra more meaty more natural a bit more everything they've developed the sound so it's even better now so just fantastic. I, I just love Negra. Absolutely love it. I wish I could own it one day. Never really owned Negra gear, but I've heard it a couple of places and my god. Um, and then, yeah, I heard this playback design, the old model from 2010. Um, and they're new models that probably are a bit better. I don't imagine them to be quite a bit better, just a tiny bit. Um... I was surprised, you know, this was surprisingly good listening to, to this DAC on most systems. But, you know, listening to the CD, somehow it just wasn't quite the same level as the DAC, you know. It just a lot more thin, a lot more digital. I don't know how that works, even more than the Macintosh. Um, and yeah, in some ways, I actually feel that this could beat the Negra in itself. But the problem is, the the Negra is just so good. the The Negra has the Negra system, the one of the best Negra preamps in the world. They make some of the best preamps in the world. I mean, that combination, even though this is not as good, as soon as you combine it with that Negra system, it could even beat this, which is in a way better. Isn't that weird? <laughs> um, but but yeah, amazing. Um, this is also like a truly impressive piece of gear. And this is like, you know, when this came out in my country, I think it was like $30,000, you know, this is not cheap. <laughs> and a lot of people are really trying to milk this on the used market, still trying to sell it for like, I don't know, 20, fifteen, dollars $20,000. So, um, yeah, surprisingly good. But, you know, it can still get a lot better than this. This is some of the best stuff on the market uh, where you really feel like now you're in the high class of, of sound. But it can still get a lot better than this, trust me. Okay, so now basically what I have to, to end with is this here. I have not heard the latest um, audio note thing that's on this picture, but let me tell you a story. I've heard the CDT2 and 3, and I feel that the CDT3 would be a really good match for a lot of systems in the world, transistor systems, simply because it's it's natural, it's neutral, it doesn't do too much of this and that. and you know, the, I could hear there were still, I'm talking about the old CDT from 2015 to 18. I, I still felt that the older 2007 and 8 and 10 models and stuff like that uh, from Spectral and Agra and stuff like that still was more sexy than, than CDT. But they were also more expensive at that time. Um... So this this doesn't really have like the 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 last bit of impressive stuff that that kind of takes care of everything. It's a really good natural balanced CD player, CDT three from from Audio. I think that the newer ones are probably a, a bit better. I'm just guessing. I haven't heard them, but then I heard the CDT four from Audio Notes a couple of years ago, and it was probably like five six years old or something like that and that was just so much better than the cdt3 so much better and um i think that that's like the end destination if you want to take a cd player just a cd player no dac a cd player 
and connect it directly to an amp, not necessarily an audio note uh, amp, but just like almost any amp in the world. And you want a really top, top notch CD player sound. The CDT4, the old model, was really, really good. And I can only imagine the newer model, because audio note usually makes makes newer models that are substantially better than the older ones. I can only imagine the newer one being even better. But again, the old CDT4 model, I would think beats everything in the world in the olden days and the new days. I haven't, I haven't heard everything uh, on the market, everything that's totally new at the highest level. So I can't be 100% sure of this, but I would believe that it most likely will do the job. And I'm definitely sure, not having heard it, but I'm definitely sure that the CDT5 will be the best CD player, standalone CD player in the world if the CD4 doesn't do it. But again, you know, we're talking about basically the most expensive CD player in the world so of course it should be the best cd player so it kind of makes sense now if you're one of those type of people that don't want to have a cd player like a cdt model and then a dac and then feed it to your amp you can go for these cd models like like here cd because with those models you get a cd player and a built-in dac oh, one more And um, I think that's better. I think it's better when you do it this way because then you cut some of the signal away so you don't have to deal with extra cables that become a liability. And these cables easily make you miss out on so much of the gear. So yeah, if you can get an audio note CD box just like this, and this is like the newest CD 3.1X Mark II. If you can get that, I believe that it could potentially beat everything on the market. Everything on the market. Even on a system that is not Arduino. That is what I think. I haven't, I haven't of course, tested this theory, but... I have a strong belief that, that that would happen. But, you know, if you're in doubt, you can always go for like a, a, a CD 4.1 or a 5.1. Of, of, of course, that would then totally make it beat anything in the world, even on a system that isn't audio note. And if you then have an audio note system, then it will be a lot, lot better again. But th these are things that I've been told by friends that I trust and I've listened to most of these things. And um, th that is my belief. You know, Audino just makes the most natural, integrated, balanced, long-lasting CD sound. It's so good. It puts most top vinyl players, uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl setups to shame. I mean, it, it makes most vinyl in the world seem digital and flat and boring and non-caring and noisy it just has that that glowy natural deep sound so yeah that that's this video you know that's me covering the the high class so even though it's called solid start to high class it goes basically from this to that to that but this could still beat that depending on if it's an ecosystem and then we have the audio note you know the, the the ultimate destination and 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 yeah you could also in theory like put an extra thing here and then just say like okay spectral spectral cd player i didn't take spectral spectral is ridiculously good but i have to say that it is only ridiculously good when you have it on a spectral system which most people will not have. So I didn't feel it was fair to include that in the test. It's a bit like the same with the Negra. You have to kind of have it on a Negra system for it to really be worth it. Um, and I feel that value-wise, you're still kind of getting more with the Macintosh. 
being you know what it is price wise on the used market and and with the negra so that's why i didn't put the spectral cd player in spectral just makes an awesome cd player sound but it's not really fair you know you, you have you have to have it on a spectral system for it to really be good uh it can still sound pretty damn awesome on, on, on most other systems it just won't get anywhere near to that 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 last performance that that you really you kind of need to stay in that zone because spectral spectral cd play is one of the most expensive cd players on, on planet earth close to uh, i think the cd four and five version of audio note so i didn't feel it quite justified putting it on the list so just so you guys know and that's my overall view of the cd player market i don't feel that there are many other cd players that are like worth it that should be included on this there are you know uh some some top m labs one that do a pretty damn good job i just think that price wise they just don't belong in, in this category because they just cost too much even though they give a pretty decent performance um there are also other brands but i didn't find them relevant i find that these are like the, the special ones you know that have a very distinct different sound compared to each other these are like e extremes you know we have like the overall vulgar uh limited cd sound from macintosh that just has its like its own sound that it puts on every recording that's just awesome when you have certain macintosh gear we have the negra which is just ridiculously detailed lots of micro detail just keeps you you know glued to your seat for such a long time um endless amounts of detail we have the fantastically intense overall really good sounding high resolution sound from playback design really good with mixing for a lot of systems and then we have like the end destination the big daddy of them all macintosh um that basically own the entire top part of the cd sound in my opinion um, also my friends uh, opinions that aren't even Macintosh fanboys they also think that that's like the best they've heard um, and yeah that that's my view of the uh, the top market and I think it's not really going to change much the next couple of years when I looked at the MCD 600 models from Macintosh and the 350 it seemed very close to to this design that was made around nine years ago so i don't really get why they exist it's almost as if this cost too much to produce now we're just gonna reinvent that and call it the mcd 600 model which is probably the same as this just without the dac i don't know um i don't know how, how it really works but um yeah that that's what i consider to be uh, the best so if you could uh, like and subscribe then other people could find my videos and uh, yeah also save money on hi-fi on, on getting some really good long-term solution gear this is me logging off have a nice day bye